for how this guy is going to do. This is my Mustang that I just pulled out. But um, we're going to, I think we're going to start with uh, the sensitizing and desensitizing. We'll start with that. Okay. And there's about six things I like to do to sensitize my horse uh, before I ride and try to do at least two or three different ways of desensitizing. And my sensitizing, I'm just telling the horse to do something and he should listen and do it. I'm desensitizing him, I'm doing some type of action and he's supposed to relax and just stand there and not be excited about it. So I'm going to start with some three different backups. And the first backup is a halter backup. And I just wanted him to back really soft on the end of a halter. And I have my stick in position so I have really good timing if I need to let him know to back up. So again, if I um, have this halter like this, I would tap him on the leg if I would not back up. My second backup is a march. So I take the stick backhanded in my hand all the way out to the very end. Not halfway up the stick, but way out on the end. Then I'll march in place and start marching towards the horse. And if he wouldn't back up, I would let him know that he needs to by tapping him here. And if you tap him, make sure you rub him back down a little bit. My third backup is I just want to look him in the eye, wiggle the rope, have my stick on top of the rope, and I would tap the rope if I needed to to get some back. Now I might throw a little desensitizing in at any time that I want to. So I might start by seeing if he can he react to the rope touching his legs. Maybe the rope throwing on his body. You want, to, you want to do that on both sides. See if you get a reaction. You know, you can get a little more carried away. Now, if you would not hold still, you do that in a rhythm motion until he holds still for five seconds. And then you take it away from him for close to 20 seconds. So if he if I could get him to react to this, I would just do it in a rhythm motion until he would hold still for five seconds. Then I take it away for 20 seconds. And when you take it away, you should kind of do a deep sigh and rest with your horoscope. And, and wait until he relaxes a little bit. And then when you go back at that, same thing, you probably won't get any reaction out of it. Okay. Now we'll go back to sensitizing again. So um, I want to do what I call a short lunge, about three feet of rope, and um, have my stick in my hand, stand up tall and straight and point. One, two, three, and then you would tap him on the neck. You want him to walk around you with a nice, slow, slow walk on a soft rein here. I just have the rein or the rope just loose in my hand. If he crowds you, I bring that stick up there to let him know that he needs to stay out at the end of that, that rope. And when you want him to stop, you just look at his rear end. You switch sides, the point, you would tap the stick three times if you needed, and then on the neck. And you want him to stop, look at his rear end. When you are doing this stuff, when you're sensitizing and desensitizing, you want to show body language. You want to show, turn on your body language to aggressive when you're Ask him to do stuff by standing up tall and straight. And when you are desensitizing, 
you want to relax and slump your shoulders and maybe not square off at him, turn a little sideways. So you want to use a little body language when you're doing that stuff. Now I'm going to do a, what I call a short, or a, both eyes for respect. So I'm going to get to the side of him. If he moves around, you wiggle that stick back and forth until you get him to hold still for you. He's going to be two feet out from the shoulder with about three feet of rope. You get here, you're going to you want to wait till he holds still, so I might move that stick back and forth here. You get here, you look, you would spank, and he'll give you both eyes. I can't get him to do it. I'm going to try the other side once. Okay, I've got the stick above him. I'm going to give it a real hard look. Then I'm going to threaten with the stick, and then I'm going to spank. So I look, threaten, and spank, and get him to look at me. Now, what I'm looking for is to have him do it with just the look. So if I rub him again, I go here, I look, and he gives me both eyes. Are we getting too much rain here? Or?